as we sort of finish up here and you think about your career and what's changing in the industry, or is there maybe one or two things that, that you would share that you, you see coming or that you, you've thought about uh, from a recruiting and talent management standpoint? Well, there's, there's no doubt that COVID has changed the world of work. And um, I think for somebody like myself, it's hard to, it's hard to embrace things that are different. You know, the whole working from home or hybrid model or all of that, especially a lot of my clients are my age or a little bit older. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, we've got five to 10 years left to work and we, we love the, the interaction and the socialization of everybody being together. So yeah. we're trying to figure out how do we, how do we embrace what the younger generation wants, but yet at the same time, feed our own souls with the socialization. The mm -hmm. one thing I'm a little worried about and, and, People who know me know I am not I am not a flag waving feminist by any means. I think we all have equal opportunity, but I am a little bit concerned about female leaders because they did take the lead in a lot of the education of the children, and I feel like they have taken a significant step back in their careers because they, some of them are not going back into the workplace. Yeah. They're staying home, and I worry about as female leaders um, remaining relevant, remaining connected. So I think for me, it's not so much the change, it's how do we make sure that, that we don't get dinged through the change, whether I guess, frankly, whether you're male or female, and you still stay connected because that, you know, out of sight, out of mind could be a really real thing yeah. if we don't pay attention to it. Hear me, would you speak to me? And I don't wanna hang